Hello and welcome to the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars. I'm John Molesky. We're on the set of Dialogue. I host the program and we just continued a fascinating discussion on leadership, specifically political leadership in Africa. And our guests are Steve McDonald, who is the director of the Africa program here at the Wilson Center, and Festus Mokai, who is a former president of Botswana. And gentlemen, welcome back. And let me, uh, let me start by uh, cueing our YouTube viewers into a little of the discussion we had previously when you both started to define leadership. I think that's interesting. And give us both of your thoughts on what is political leadership in terms, in the context of good governance? What are we looking for from leaders? We're looking for leaders who emerge and are sensitive to the views of their people, not only their needs, but also what they think. Uh, le leaders that are not bosses, that inspire, uh, not just command, and, and uh, uh, are transparent in their, their aspirations which they should lead the people by inspiring them uh, in the right direction. And, and a, a key notion there is uh, transparency. This gets into some of these things that have not, important. are not standard it parts not of dictatorships. Always, mm -hmm. Transparency is important because that's when the civil society then has a role. Leaders who recognize that the civil society has a role are and have to be transparent because they then have to try to carry the people with them. Mm -hmm. Le leaders have to be accountable, yeah. and without transparency, you can't bring them to And account. more tools for accountability now, a younger mm -hmm. generation yes. with access to mobile devices and all of these yes. things. Yes. The expectation is they can get all this information whenever they want yes. it. Exactly. Makes yeah. it tougher to govern or easier? Uh -huh. Tougher for dictators. But for democratic leaders, it is leading a country is never easy anyway. Uh, but it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Steve, on the, the notion of uh, leadership as either a skill or an orientation you're born with or something you can learn, uh, tell us about the notion of training and what kind of programs well, are in place well, to help Well, of course, in a nutshell, we discussed this and, and we felt that it takes both. Right. That there are, of course, born leaders. And, and you need some skills, some charisma, some ability to, uh, to excite people around you. But, uh, but uh, particularly in this day and age, uh, with the advanced technologies and et cetera that, uh, that come into, uh, with the, the global village that we have to deal with, you have to have a broader understanding. Uh, and whether it's in procedures or, or how you use your staff or whatever, uh, there, there's training that's very valuable for leadership. And that's going on from within and without the continent uh, constantly. There are a number of, uh, in fact, we do some leadership training, a uh, number of other institutions around the world that do leadership training. There is a very, very good uh, leadership uh, institute, uh, uh, African Leadership Institute uh, based in Johannesburg that, uh, that does a great deal of training. Uh, and this is at all levels of leadership. Mm. Well, gentlemen, thank you for joining us today and thank, thank you, you for your leadership uh, over time. Thank you. Thank thank you. Appreciate it very much. If you'd like to hear more, uh, a complete 30-minute discussion with these gentlemen, come to our website, wilsoncenter.org. Look at the top right-hand side of the screen. You'll see a tab for dialogue. Click that and it will lead you to an entire 30-minute interview. Thanks.